Hello there, I am Giant Girl with one Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we finished off Team Rocket at the Radio Tower by defeating the last of the Team Rocket executives. And we also told, uh, we also got the, um, Quibell from the director, and so now we can go to Tin Tower and face Suicune. So when you walk through those doors, make sure you have a Pokemon you want up in front, because that's like an automatic battle, really, pretty much. When you walk in, I have Brosso in front, because Brosso has Ice Punch, and I want to try to freeze this thing to try to get easy to catch. See, so like, when you walk in, there's the three legendary dogs, there's Raikou, he leaves, or it leaves, I should say, and uh, it leaves, because they're Jindoists, and then Suicune just jumps right in front of you, like that. So, yeah. Make sure I catch this thing. So yeah, it's level 40, nice. Let's go for the Ice Punch right off the bat. So there's Gust on us, okay. Gust on Brosal, I guess. Oh, it knows 9 HP, so I think Brosal can handle it. Take it like a man, I guess. And you know, Ice Punch doesn't do that much, so that's good. That means I have more chances to try to freeze this thing with Ice Punch. So yeah. Just keep on using. Let's keep on using a, you know, let's keep on using Ice Punch, I guess. And continues to fall. That raises up his water type moves, but then also it has a, makes it said it's like, Thunder is 100% accurate, accurate then. So it kind of works against him, too. Or against it, because you're not know, genderless. Yeah, Bubble Boom's got to do a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Cool. That's just great, man. That's just great. I just want to weaken this down a little bit more. It's because Rain Dance again. Of course it is. One of these it could freeze. You know, that'd be awesome. Let's get this away on us. Okay. We're on Bristol. And yeah. Puts in the yellow. And it's, it's still in the yellow. Let's get this away again. You know, Suicune doesn't really have the best move set for this, but whatever. You know, it's Rain Dance, Gust, Weir, and a Bubble Beam. That's what it knows. Jeez. Could have quit, and does not freeze it. Okay. So it looks like I just have to use the um, Ultra Balls and stuff. I only have three Ultra Balls, though. One, oh, dang it, it only hit, it didn't even shake once. It did not even shake once. This is take one, by the way. Let's go for another Ultra Ball. We have one, we only have one more after this, so we have to make it count, you know? With it being not frozen, it makes it harder for it to catch, though, too. Bubble Beam. Quick, okay, uh, not quick attack, but I was hoping I'd get a quick ball, but there's no quick balls in this game. I guess fast ball could be the same purpose or something. I'm out of ultra balls now. Like I don't know where to buy ultra balls. Like I know Mahogany Town doesn't have a doesn't have a doesn't have a Pokemon really, and it only sells great balls. They have the little uh, alternative, and then all of mine only sells um great balls, and there's more. So that kind of sucks. What if it, I wonder if it were a ball? Would help. Maybe we can try the fastball too. One, uh, check once at least. I was just on Pokemon Gold, but I couldn't catch Suicune because I just got really bad luck, and I could always, I want to just use it my throw one Ultra Ball at a time on it before I look for it again. That was annoying. Okay, so the Bristol goes down. Let's go to Megan, I guess. But yeah, Suicune does no gas, which is super fatal against Megan, but that's okay. And stopped, okay, so it doesn't get the boost from its bubble beam anymore. Okay, let's go for the fastball. So it pretty fast. Let's see if this will catch it. One. Again, I only shook once, dang it. Getting my hopes up. Yeah, I know it's gust, I was afraid of that. Because it comes with this bubble beam, but I can't resist gust. But gust doesn't do too much on Megan, so that's good. Look, we have, th we have 13 more uh, great balls after this, so hopefully we can get lucky or something, you know? That'd be pretty cool. One. Dang it. Oh, man, it shook once. Let me just take a few times and click. Rain dance again, of course. Oh, 
I want to catch this thing soon, you know, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Yeah, it sucks. One, two, three. Oh man, we caught it in a great ball. That's awesome. Nice. I didn't, that was a, this was even my first take too, wow. Yeah, this weekend's data was new and added to the Pokedex, awesome. So this weekend's the War Pokemon. It's uh, it's six feet, seven inches tall. The same height as Adam Wainwright of the St. Louis Cardinals. It weighs, it weighs exactly 412 pounds. It's number 240. 245 in the Joe Dex, it looks like. It's ripping, it looks like a little heart. <laughs> That's cool. This divine Pokemon blows around the world, uh, always in search of, pure, of a pure reservoir. That's kind of a cool, that's kind of a cool Pokedex entry. So it's, um. Hmm, if it's blue. Would blue's clues fit? Blue. I don't think it'll fit if the apostrophe and everything. I could be wrong. What if blue? What does blue clue fit with? Which is one without space or with a space? Yeah, it fits with the blues. I think I got it. I'm playing Spawn Clue, right? Jeez. Blue's Clue. Let's do that, yeah. Blue's Clue wasn't... I, I don't even know if I even spelled Clue right. Jeez. Blue's Clue was sent to the Pills PC. That's one, that was one of my favorite, uh... Jeez, okay. Everyone's coming out at <laughs> once. Okay, you since is awesome. Too awesome, even. I've never seen a battle that great. Uh, you were just... You were outside the Tin Tower. How did you see the battle? Were you just peeping through the window? Because that's kind of creepy. Okay, whatever. That was truly inspiring to see. Suicune so was tough, but you were even tougher. More, ex more incredible, Steven. I tried to predict. predict I tried to predict what he said. What, what he would say next. Whatever. I heard Suicune's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, what we went what went on today will cause that Pokemon to appear. I'm going to study the legendary, the legends more. Thanks for showing me that fantastic battle. Later, Steven. Cool. That's a cool music when he comes up, you know. Alan Schoolboy, yeah, okay. Uh, you pick something nice. That's the third. Yeah, that's the third Firestone you found for me. And although I'm grateful that you found me for the first one, I don't need three Firestones. In fact, I didn't even kick. I didn't even pick the one up the second one you found. But whatever. Wait, can we? Do we have to? Cook? Yeah. What if we talk to the guys here? When the brass tower burns down, burn down three. Uh, nameless Pokemon were said to have perished. It was tragic. However, a Rumbleco Pokemon, in other words, Ho-Oh, descended from the sky and gave life to the three Pokemon. They are Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. That's what they say. Interesting. According to the legend, to legend, when the souls of Pokemon and humans commune, uh, from the heavens descends a Pokemon of rainbow colors. Could it mean that the legendary Pokemon are testing us humans? Interesting, I never thought of it like that. And then there's one more, I guess. Isn't there one more guy? Yeah, right here, cool. Except him. The two towers have been said to have been uh, built to foster friendship and hopes between hope between Pokemon and people. They were that was 700 years ago, but the deal still remains today. Okay, well, I'm sorry, I'm sure that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so with Suicune under a belt, we can actually look at it in the Mahogany Town uh, Pokemon Center, I guess you could say. Let's fly to uh, uh, Mahogany Town. I just went the long way going forward but instead of backwards one and then backwards again to get to Mahogany Town, but okay. On the D pad, I mean. I'm gonna hit my Pokemon real quick. Actually, I'm going to heal my Pokemon, and I'm going to show you guys the Suicune Summary. Awesome. Now, I think I have to deposit the Pokemon to see someone's Summary that's in the PC at least. But that's okay. Okay, so, yeah, let me go to my PC. Shoot. Okay.
Okay, I don't actually have to. Cool. Um, so yeah. Um, stats, I guess. Okay, so we can has 80,000 experience under its belt. It has, it needs 6,151. It looks like experience points to level 41. It's a pure water type. Um, dang it, I mean, I have to go to my freaking Suicune or whatever. Blue is clue. <laughs> okay, now it's a weird bubble beam rain dancing gust. Its attack is 65, its defense is 109. Its special defense, special attack is 85, I think it looks like. Its special defense is 105, and its speed is 84. And now we'll see, uh, my already Gyarados is something actually because I forgot to show it. Uh, Gyarados, uh, slash, backslash. Okay. Or slash, it should say. Its attack is 88, its defense is 59, 58, I should say. Its special attack is 47, its special defense is 71, and its speed is 59. Now, slash, bite, dragon, rage, and weir. So that's pretty cool. It's a water and flying type, obviously. So yeah. So just showing that off real quick. Now we're gonna make our way back to uh, make our way to uh, Box One City, which is pretty cool. And uh, let's see here. Let's uh, I guess Bro still can stay in front. Here's uh 44. Let's take on this train right here. I'll show it actually. Yeah, he's gonna win apparently. Nice. Okay. Psychic Phil, yeah, he wants to battle. Nat 2, okay. Nat 2 is uh, psychic and flying, so Ice Punch would be super effective, actually. So let's go for the Ice Punch, yeah, so Nat 2 is level 24, so is that, uh, so Bristol is um, 14 levels higher than it. Yeah, 14 levels higher than it, awesome. And then he probably has that too, right? No, you have a Debra, okay, cool, whatever. So here's the Kadabra. It's level 26, so that's pretty cool. So, Bros is still level 12 levels ahead of this thing. Let's go for the, let's go for the Surf Attack. See what she'll do. Yeah, I wish, I wish my freaking, you know, Eevee would move into Espeon before level 37, or level 34. So, I think it was level 37. Because I could learn, uh, Side Boom over a present Espeon. But nope, I have to go the whole playthrough now without having, you know, freaking Side Beam. If I have it to where it doesn't involve to like level 47, that would suck. I honestly just think that would suck. I thought I was raising its happiness by going to the salon a couple times and making sure it has happy, but I guess not. Whatever. Here's another tree, I guess we can pick a berry off or something. A burnt berry. That heals a burn, I guess. So I'm put one. Awesome. Okay, he's supposed to be as a held item. Awesome. Here's an item. It is a uh, max of pelver with picking up. I'm actually order I'm gonna have the max appeal in my bag now. I'm gonna float above the my super pill. So yeah. Let's see here. There we go, nice. Okay, up here is a long way I guess, but we can still go this way. Here's a fisherman dude. Ak, you made me lose my a polywag. What are you going to do about it? I'm gonna battle you, of course, jeez. Yeah, so I didn't end up showing that battle, I wanted to cut it off anyway, but yeah. She, the guy had two Goldeens and a Seeking, and then as you see right here, we also get level 39, awesome. Awesome. Don't forget about it. Just don't forget about it. Thanks for 1,000 Poker Dollars. I'm gonna keep uh, Brosso up front. I'm also gonna cut out this battle too. But yeah, I'll do anything to get my hands on their Pokemon. Interesting. Anything? Wink wink. Okay, so the Pokemania can only have a ride on. Or ride horn, I should say. But that's okay, we defeated Pokemania and Uh, ooh, your Pokemon are so appealing, thanks. Thanks for 1,620 Poké Dollars. Here's another item, it's an Ultra Ball. They're worth picking up. After that we rent, we have to use three Ultra Balls and let Suicune, you know, haha. <laughs> yeah, so we have eight Poké Balls, uh, 11 Great Balls, uh, one Ultra Ball, and that's about it, really. <laughs> nice. Here's another train right here. Let's take him on. I'll skip his battle too, I guess. And his dialogue. Okay, so this cool train only had a Charmeleon, but it's still good experience, I guess. Yeah, it was a total loss on my part. Sorry, man. Thanks for 1,296 Poké Dollars, though. And there's one more train. I think there's another train right here, actually. Nice. Let's battle her. I'll actually show her battle. You look stronger, trainer seek. 
tough opponents in insect insensibly instinctively. I I don't even know how to pronounce that word. I have trouble pronouncing it apparently. Here is school trainer um Saibo. So I guess I pronounce your name. She has butterfly, okay, cool. So butterflies have flying types, so I think ice punch would be super effective then. Let's try it. Yeah, but if he's level 25 and female, so we, uh, Bristol is 14 levels higher than this thing. And I was right, awesome, but if he goes down. Nice, okay. And she has a Blossom, okay. Let's use Ice Punch on that too, because it's, I think Blossom is a pure grass type. And that'll be, uh, we, we, super, Ice Punch will be super effective on it, in that case. This Blossom is level 25 and female, so that's pretty cool. Nice. Awesome. Which in his sidebar was defeated. Awesome. Nope, this won't do at all. Sorry, thanks for the 1200 pocket dollars. I think that was it for the trainers. Oh, there's this one too. This guy right here. I fish until I can't anymore. I also battle until I drop. Interesting. Tasty. That's my relationship with Pokemon. I'll show you a battle just to show it, I guess. Okay, yeah, here's Fisherman Edgar. Okay, so let's go for the um, headbutt on this thing. Okay, yeah, Bristle almost came to level. Let's go for the let's stay in for another run raid, I guess. Let's go for the headbutt. There we go. Cool. But uh, but also get level 40, awesome. Fishman Ego was defeated, cool. The Fisher Ego was defeated, hmm, yeah, that's what you say. I didn't mean how much Pokemon you gave me, but that's okay. And then we're back here, okay, cool. So let's, um, put someone else up front, I guess. Let's put Megan up front, I guess. Let's hop on a bike to go a bit faster. And here we are in front of the Icefall K basically, but we have one more trainer. Awesome. Do you know about the Legendary Bird Pokemon? Yes, I do actually. We were talking about it earlier. Hello and Woogie, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Here's a Bird Keeper. Bird Keeper Vance, Vance I guess you could say. Yeah, it's a Pidgeotto. Good thing, uh, Megan has a body slam on this, you know, cause, cause basically if we want to do that much damage, I don't think it's, it wouldn't be super effective. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be very effective as I would say. This picture is level 25, so this Megan's like 10 levels higher than this thing, and Vison goes down, like it's Vison makes it go down one hit, awesome. And then you have a PG, two PG arrows, apparently, cool. Okay, let's go for the bias slam. Uh, this should want to kill it as long as it did the last one. Yeah, there we go, nice. Reiki prevents us to feel cool. Phew, you hot stuff. Thanks. Thanks for the section of pocket dollars. And here's the Icefall Cave right here. I was going to read the sign. I can read it. Okay, Route 44, Ice, ice Path Ahead. Okay, not Icefall Cave, but Ice Path, I should say. I'm going to go back and heal real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, here we're back in front of the Ice Path Cave, or Ice Path, I should say. Let's go inside. We don't need Flash or anything, so that's good. So, yeah. Let's see here. Um, Megan. Yeah, Megan's in front. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'm gonna start the Ice Fall Cave in the next part, so yes, yeah, then my Pokemon and Crystal walk through a part, the next part will take on the Ice Path, and hopefully make it back to one city. Maybe do stuff after that, I don't know. We'll have to see. So yes, yeah, so the I go again. I'll let the goodbye, and I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide.